This thing is not also great for uh, increasing lifespan of the drive, but also imagine this situation. What's up guys, welcome to the Hardwin82 channel, I'm Adam and today we are gonna talk about this one simple trick that can increase the lifespan of your hard drive. Um, this video is especially for those who has uh, many drives in your PC. Uh, maybe you don't use all of them in the same time, so this video is for you. Also, this video is for people that build maybe their own custom-made uh, NAS server. So, uh, yeah, that video is also for you. So, if you want to know what that trick is, stay tuned. Guys, some time ago I made a video about uh, Project 3 in 1. Uh, the link will be will be here uh, and I was talking about how to build your own NAS server to back up your family photos and more and also a few other things so the whole idea was this instead of having just NAS server then that's it you could do many things like an entertainment system like playing retro games uh, watch content on your television and uh, back up your important stuff so uh, if you haven't seen this video, I highly recommend you to do that, the, the link will be here. Since I built this computer and I made this small project for myself, uh, I found a one problem with this whole idea. This small entertainment system is not constantly on, so I'm just pressing power button when I need it. And I've noticed that in the middle of the day, I can boot up this uh, computer many times. And the hard drives, they don't like that. Like every electrical component they don't like this sudden flow of energy so when you power up things and when you kill it so i was thinking how i can improve that because i'm doing backup maybe once per month so basically those two drives i don't need them to be constantly on so i was thinking about an idea quick and simple obviously i could open the case disconnect them and the drives and voila job done but i was looking for something more sophisticated something more user friendly let's say and i think i found something okay i found something that you can easily buy for example on amazon this little box contains something that will be perfect for my needs this freaking thing has many names so for example you can find this as a control switch as a HDD selector drive switch uh, drive switcher or a power control switch so under those names um, you will be able to find this little board with those built-in switches so I'm very excited about that I'm very curious how this will work in theory uh, it's very simple you just simply connect the power supply to your drives and with this with those switches you will select which drive you want it to to be working uh, yes yeah, just by simple press of the button you will activate or deactivate the your drive quickly let's have a look at the instruction okay yes all right i think i know everything what i want yeah mm -hmm. Okay, so that was the instruction. Okay, let's have a look. This should be simple. So that obviously will go here. This will supply all four channels. And uh, obviously you need to connect some kind of a power. So we will use power in A or power, B, power in B. That depends what, what you have. If you have a free Molex, you will connect here. If you have a free SATA power connector, you will connect here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use. Uh, I need to check what is in my case. Then you have labeled cables, cable number one, two, three, and four, and you will select your drives. This thing is not also great for uh, increasing lifespan of the drive, but also imagine this situation. You have many drives on your, in your computer and you are using maybe multiple operating systems. Maybe you, for some reason, you're still rocking Windows XP, maybe, maybe you use the Linux system or something else. 
simply you could install all those operating systems on different drives and then by deselecting the other ones uh, you can boot up the system you you want it so yeah i'm excited let's have a look how this will work okay so first of all let's open this puppy it's been a while since i was here so i'm not sure what condition we will find inside could be could be a bit dirty okay it's not so bad as you can see i have two three terabytes drives they are working uh, in raid one configuration that means one drive is constantly making copy of another one so one is cloning another one and i have uh, also ssd ssd drive uh, i'm just using for operating system okay let's let's have a look okay so installation is not complicated simply i just need to stick it somewhere uh, ideally to be ideally to be fair i would love to have those buttons somewhere in the front of my case but uh, uh, but it is what it is at the moment i just need to use those um okay okay i have uh, plenty of place i can choose wherever i want so i'm disconnecting the power cables to my two drives I will leave this one alone because this one has to be constantly on there is no point of me connecting this to that uh, to that board so I'm just disconnecting those two drives in my case I will use power in a because I'm using the SATA power type uh, connector if you have a Molex it could be Molex as well okay now cable number one to drive number one And now number two. Okay, cables three and four will stay open because I don't need them. Okay, everything looks good. Now we need to test this. Alright guys, that's gonna be it. I, now I need to just clean that mess that I just made. Uh, again, you have four buttons. I wasn't sure which one is for what. So in my case, the first on the right is uh, drive number one. Then I have number two, three and four. And uh, yeah, that's it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. And, I, and don't forget to smash that like button, but only if you want. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.